Hi everyone in today's video we are exploring part 2 of my philodendron collection If you haven't watched part 1 yet don't worry I will link it in the description box Have you ever wondered what the name philodendron means It comes from Greek word philo means tree and dendron means tree So philodendron means tree loving or tree hugging. These plants thrive in dappled light and often grow near trees, which is how they got their lovely name. Today I will be sharing the rest of my philodendron cultivars with you. So without further delay, let's get started. The first plant is philodendron villetii. This stunning plant is known for its long, narrow, arrow-shaped, deep green leaves with striking orange stems, making it real showstopper. It has moderate growth rate. Actually, growth rate depends on various factors such as light, humidity, and care. To promote faster growth, you can keep it in bright indirect light and maintain humidity. It is first free plant and the perfect for beginner. What I most like about the Billeti is its bold tropical vibe, perfect for adding touch of the jungle to any space. Few months back, I got this beauty from the nursery, and I instantly fell in love with this amazing plant. The new leaves have this incredible range of colors. starting as bright orange when they first unfurl and gradually fading into deep green as they mature it gives the plant such vibrant and constantly changing look which is super fun to watch what really makes this plant stand out is how compact it is perfect for crowded plant corner plus it's low maintenance philodendron so perfect for beginners it needs bright indirect light to maintain those amazing orange hues and if the humidity drops down the leaves can get crispy so humidifier or constant misting is important honestly even with the little care it needs it's totally worth it for the splash of color i definitely recommend trying it if you want to add something special to your plant collection I love silvery leaves and just look at this plant it's almost silvery foliage dazzles in the sunlight the philodendron silver sword is honestly one of the coolest plant in my collection those sword shaped leaves with their metallic silver sheen gives off such futuristic vibe making it stand out from the usual greens It also climbs so once you give it something to climb on like moss pole or trellis it will reward you with even bigger and more striking leaves again to keep that silvery glow it needs bright indirect light and humidity is key to prevent brown spot or brown edges Now let me tell you about this beautiful plant in my collection Philodendron Painted Lady. The variegation on the leaves is just stunning. This plant is truly unique with its beautiful leaves that start off bright sunny yellow and gradually turn lovely green as they mature. What makes it even cooler are the darker green splashes that gives it that painted look. Hence the name It is slow to grow upward. It's perfect for adding moss pole or trellis and it can grow up to 2 to 3 feet height with right care. Plus it has moderate growth rate. And I will suggest bright indirect sunlight is best for keeping those vibrant colors popping. The philodendron painted lady was developed through hybridization which is why it has such distinct appearance compared to other philodendrons. If you are beginner and looking for beautiful fast growing easy to care for hardy philodendron then philodendron pedatum is perfect for you This plant is an absolute dream and trust me it grows like a dream Its leaves have cool almost star like shape that gets bigger and more striking as the plant grows Since its climber giving it something like moss pole 
to cling to really help with its growth. I definitely need to add some support for mine. Trust me, this is one of the easiest philodendron to grow, just like philodendron Berlin Marks or Birkin. It can tolerate various lightning conditions. Although it grows fast in bright indirect light and when it's happy, it grows fast seriously. You will be seeing new leaves pop up all the time. Next plant is Philodendron Melinoni Golden. It is huge plant with an eye-catching growth pattern. Its long big leaves have stunning golden color which gives bright luxurious feel to any space. It reminds me of Philodendron Ring of Fire with its lovely color variation. The new leaves start off lemon lime and then turn dark green as they mature, giving you great contrast. It's been growing really well and I find it easy to care for. Now we have Philodendron Hedrasium Rio. I recently brought this plant. I used to get confused between Philodendron Brazil and Rio. They both look amazing but they are actually quite different. The Rio has beautiful heart shaped narrow pointed leaves with stunning silvery green variegation. While Brazil has green leaves with yellow or cream strips. It's like the Rio is the fancy version. The Rio is climber just like Philodendron Brazil and when it comes to growth rate, Rio is pretty moderate. <laughs> Plus it's really easy to care for making it perfect for plant newbies or anyone who wants beautiful plant without too much hassle. That's all Philodendrons I have at home. If you are new to gardening and looking for plants that are both beautiful and easy to care for besides ZZ and snake plant, trust me, philodendrons are the way to go. What makes philodendrons so special is they thrive in warm and humid conditions with plenty of indirect light. Some varieties can grow to impressive sizes while others are happy in smaller pots. What I love most is the wide range of leaf shape, size and colors. They are truly something for everyone and you can style them as per your space availability. You can start with varieties like Philodendron Pedatum, Philodendron Billity, Philodendron Brazil, Philodendron Micons and Burley Marks. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comment section which variety is your favorite. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and happy gardening.